All right, people, I hope you're ready to make some graphs today. So today, um, our lesson for 5-9 is a pretty long one, so we're gonna do it over two days. So today, you're just working in your workbook, and you are gonna do page 245 and 246. So this first page that you have here is making graphs, and you are gonna make two different kinds of graphs. So here's the table that you're gonna use right here, and the table shows bicycle sales. So what do you think your title will be for both graphs? Yeah, it's gonna be bicycle sales because it doesn't matter what kind of graph you're making, you're still showing the same information. So you wanna make sure that for your title, both of them are gonna say bicycle graphs. Both of them are also going to include the day of the week. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So when you're doing this first graph here, it's gonna be a picture graph. So right here is where you're gonna write the days of the week. Down here, you're going to do a bar graph. So it's going to be the same, the days of the week are going to go here, but down here are gonna be your numbers for this one of how many bikes were sold. How many bikes were sold? You're gonna to have to look back up here. So we have Saturday was eight, Sunday was nine, Monday was three and Tuesday is four. Now, if you're using a picture graph to do this first one, you need to do a picture. Now, we've talked about this. You can't do something super duper fancy and make it be this glorious work of art. The, the idea of a picture graph is not making it a glorious work of art. It's about showing the information in a simple way that's easy to read. So an idea for a picture graph Maybe you're gonna use a picture of a bicycle wheel, or maybe you're gonna do a picture of a bicycle, but it could be like a really fast bicycle. So let me show you an example of how you could draw a bicycle really, really fast, okay? So you could do something like this. You could do a bicycle, like, I don't know, kind of looks like a wheel, or you could do like, oh, look it. I don't know, how would that go? Something like that, oh, it's a bicycle. You need to just do something really quickly on your picture graph. And so when you're looking at your graph right here, for Saturday there were eight bikes sold, so you're gonna have to draw eight pictures. Sunday there were nine bikes sold, you're gonna have to do nine pictures. Down here on the bar graph, you're gonna do the same thing, except instead of drawing pictures, you're going to very neatly draw a bar for, to, that goes to that number. Remember to be neat about it. You cannot be all sloppy or nobody can read what you're writing and nobody will know what you're trying to show. On the back of this assignment, you have a graph already made for you, books in the class library, and you are gonna answer three questions about these books. All right, I have really been happy that people are asking me if you don't know and you're working on it by yourself, please ask me. I'm pretty good about getting back to you on Seesaw as soon as I can. And you can always ask a grown up. You can upload your pictures to Seesaw of your work, and I would love to see how you're doing on your math. Make sure you're still working on your timings as well, and that you are doing as much as you can to keep those math facts in your head. All right? Good luck on your math today, kids.